over a baby formula shortage that swept the country tonight. The Department of Justice is investigating the Michigan plant at the center of the problem. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. Good to have you with us at 11. Abbott Labs plant in Sturgis was shut down for months last year after FDA, FDA inspectors found bacteria at the plant. There were also reports, you'll recall, of babies becoming sick drinking their formula. Well, after an extensive investigation, the feds could not link the bacteria at the plant to any illness. Mara McDonald live tonight. Mara, it appears the investigation is far from over. That's right, Kimberly. You know, the Abbott plant uh, at, at the center of all of this has been operating under a consent decree uh, with the Department of Justice since last May. Clearly now, the feds aren't done here. According to a report in the Wall Street Journal tonight, the Department of Justice has opened a criminal probe into the conduct and actions at the Sturgis, Michigan Abbott plant. That plant is a major producer of infant formula in the U.S. And when FDA inspectors went in there last year and found violations, the greatest one being the discovery of a potentially deadly bacteria, it set off a nationwide shortage of baby formula that had parents scrambling. It was so bad, the Biden administration lifted tariffs and other requirements to allow foreign produced formula to be flown into the U.S. An exhaustive FDA investigation could not conclusively link the bacteria at the plant to any babies who got sick. Abbott, under a consent degree with the DOJ, was allowed to resume operating in Sturgis last May. Back here live, how serious was that infant formula shortage? Once Abbott could finally get the Sturgis plant back up and running under that consent decree in May, it took until late October of last year for the supply to really catch up. We're live downtown tonight at the Federal Building. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Okay, far from over, Mara, we appreciate it.